Hey, buddy, watch this. This is a Reno Control Paladin, I think is what I would call it. Running Reno, of course, for lots of big heals, but also other defensive cards like Cariel and Ragnaros Lightlord, who's back. And Amber Watcher, we just have a ton of healing and then removal spells built around, say, equality and beyond. And lots of just little stuff, too. Like, got actually some ways to get some tempo, play for the board early. Insane value with Phelan. It's kind of just good card Paladin. Take every card that's good and put it in Paladin. And this is what we have. I think I hold this. This is cheap enough for like kind of think things that are, you know, curve relevant for the stack. We, Hello, we don't mind five drops. They're pretty good. And then I also um, care about healing against Hunter usually. Same with Reno work they're using. Yeah, it's, it's winning without Reno. Which is a great problem to have, again. I love that. I'm very pumped that we're winning without Reno. <laughs> but I just want to see him, you know, function at least once, I think. Uh, yeah, we already have equality. These are not good cards against uh, Hunter in general anyway, though, unfortunately. Kind of stuck here. It's a bad hand. I want, like, Mancrick. I want, like, Sunfish. I want Phelan. I want stuff that creates pressure, right? Cause I gotta play minions anyway. This is happening, right? Like I can't stop this from happening. The sec is too reliant, I think. I mean, I don't know. I say that, but eh, I'm not sure that's totally true. Let's not give him like a good minion base. <clears throat> uh, man, bear, pig. Thanks to the prime. Very cool. You could guard. Summerell. Sure, this doesn't get piercing shot very well, at least. If they want a piercing shot this, go right ahead. That's fine by me. <laughs> it's like, yeah, do your thing. Four legendaries, 150 packs? Wow, that is like literally the minimum. That's awful, Shade. I'm sorry. I hate that those experiences happen. I, I think the most unfortunate part about the Hearthstone um, monetization system is that people who spend money come away disappointed. I think you should always want to delight and... Um, you know, surprise your your spenders. You should want them feeling like it was a great decision, not a bad one. I, I always hate that. Hearthstone's come a long way to make the free-to-play experience better, but people who spend money are often disappointed. I think that's really sad. Looks like I'm here just in time. Yeah, this is a little early, of course, but I gotta, I gotta play stuff, I think. Next turn, I might be desperate enough to trade. Amber Watcher sounds like Ray Romano to me. <laughs> What a weird, what a beautifully strange observation to me. I don't really hear it, to be honest, but, but hey. Uh, I didn't expect to hear that today, so I'm still pretty happy. Uh, probably an explosive trap, right? We might be able to find a way to heal this. Nah, Reno's good to see, though, either way. Again, I, oh, just a freezing trap. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I'll happily play that guy later. That's fine. They can't feel great about giving me healing there, can they? I don't think. I don't know, I could have, I, I guess I could have taken the 2-3 there for a reroll on the Alex, but I really like Alex, so I don't want to get stuck with like a Cobalt scale vein or something I care less about, right? Let's just take the high roll. So this is always our good righteous defense turn, although honestly Leviathan's pretty good here too. Let's just take the Leviathan. I'm a little worried I have too many cards in hand. Uh, yeah, Phelan's not good this game. Plus goods might give me some healing or something in a pinch, right? Makes Ashara better, whatever. So, all right, we've got a lot of healing. Like all four of these cards heal right in a row. I just have to time it right is the problem always here. Like we saw before, it's actually quite possible for this deck to deal 30 damage from hand without that many cards. But if they're focused on minions, I think that's something I'm happy about. Just keep killing minions and I kind of have all day here. Right. Let's play a rag and heal a little bit. Yeah, this is, looks like it's going to be a great rag. Although, interestingly, they killed the... 
Yeah, this is weird. They kind of killed the guy who's actually kind of making Rag feel worse. That said, I, I think they have to kill the Rag, right? Like, they can't let Rag live if they expect to win this game, so... Just presenting another thing for them to hit. Do -do -do. I miss Rag Lightlord too. It feels good to play Rag Lightlord, by the way. This is like OG Hearthstone Reno Paladin with Rag Lightlord, Reno. Feels good. I miss Highlander decks. Just having a bunch of cool legendaries in your list and figuring it out, you know? Yeah, they are going all in on these, uh, these minions here. Good math on even numbered minions, by the way, I guess, with um with Dragon Bane shot, but what can I do? Gotta play stuff. Okay, so they're down to two cards. They just keep clearing things. It's, oh, holy Maki rolls insane again, yeah. <laughs> Uh, technically healing, I guess. I don't know. And damage, too, since I don't have carry L yet. Let's just play this as a threat. This is obviously not one that heals me right now, but I'm at 28, so surely that's okay, right? Not time to Alex just yet. They might still consider this a healing threat of sorts. I doubt they have any minions, though, so probably not. If they just go hard face, of course, we'll just try to Reno or Alex or whatever feels safe. Might be another freezing trap. Oh, almost definitely is another facing trap. Uh, Furious Howl is not bad, yeah. Hitting a minion now? No. Thought I saw that target that minion, but maybe not. Man, this... Oh yeah, aim shot hits the minion now. Okay. I guess they don't care too much about the freezing trap. Um, yeah, let's just Amber Watcher again, man. I love it. Totally chill. Back to 28. So they've, <laughs> they've killed, like, they, they killed 11 and 7 is 18. How many minions have they killed in health right now, you know? Here we go again. A lot. I mean, I don't know if they would have gotten there going face. You can't leave up Rag, right? Like, I get it. They kind of had to, but... Man. Man. Just um, I'm kind of expecting this to be a freezing trap. So even though this man crick will get damaged by this explosive, I don't care. I'm just going to freeze this guy and create the hand space so that I can replay him, hopefully. Oh, not a freezing. Okay. What is that, then? Ice trap, I guess? In that case, I guess we're fine to true silver, right? Back to 28, should be okay. I don't want to play this for the sake of... Um... Actually, let's just use this on the Ice Trap, right? Like, who cares? Well, it might let them use another Ice Trap, but... I want to be able to Maki roll later, so yeah, let's just throw this away. I think 28 will be okay. I'm a little exposed to Piercing Shot with a 3-2, but not really. I think we'll still be fine. I mean, hope. Oh, God. Oh, I'm not dead, am I? Can they really go from 28? Can they really go from 28, man? Seems like he's hitting minions a lot, so I don't think he's going for lethal yet. <laughs> like 28? Come on. I do need to kill this 2-3, though, while also... Oh, I guess I can with weapon. Yeah, weapon. We'll do that. It's actually pretty good that I played this, then. So this is probably the Reno, it looks like. Just to prevent any crazy breakpoints or anything. Also, they're just going to be out of gas, maybe. Although, I don't know, man. Howl putting in some work. It was definitely the Reno. I'm almost dead. Stack does such crazy damage, dude. They don't make, like, copies of this or anything, do they? It's not like a... There's no pack tactics left, right? I mean, this is definitely the move. We can carry all next turn. Carry all doesn't... Well, I mean, I don't know. Carry all heals... Technically, like, 12 and 5 is 17. It's really not that different, but for now, let's just reno. I think this might be, like, the concede button sometimes. Especially if this gets freezing trapped. Actually, this is wrong to summon. There's still a piercing shot. There's just no advantage to this. I guess I could test a freezing trap, but I want a freezing trap to reno, so. <laughs> it's not like I need to test a freezing trap, right? I actually like that. 
Um, but I mean, is their burst really there? Both aim shots are gone. They have a piercing shot. Um, quick shot, I guess. Looks like they're killing Reno as well to deny the freezing trap, maybe. Maybe not. You can't let Reno get freezing trapped, though, right? You have to kill him if you're planning to win. <laughs> you can't be freezing trapped. It's just not acceptable. Um, I guess there's another explosive, maybe. Maybe they're just putting him in explosive range. Oh, they're killing him. Okay. So now we just go carry L into what? Like Maki rolls, probably. And then, I mean, I don't even know if they literally have enough cards left to win at that stage, right? I don't even think they have enough cards. This might be a... I guess there is a world where this is a... Ice Trap again, right? In which case, Maki Roll doesn't really heal me as much as I'd like. I don't really think it matters, though, to be honest. I'll just heal Alex next turn. Oh, it's not. Nice. Okay. I don't need to attack. We just win via inevitability here soon. I mean, I guess I could set up the Alex win next turn, though, honestly. At the same time. Either way, we're fine. I mean, what's left? We got, like, a couple secrets. Ice trap. Maybe freezing. Maybe explosive. There's a spring the trap, perhaps. Could be a Tavish hero card. I guess that would give them a little more depth than I would like. Tracking again. I'm almost out of cards. I love that they're going for it though, don't get me wrong. Respect the effort, I will say. You gotta respect the efforts. Um Okay. We'll be fine here. Alright. Alex is big. Two cards left. What could they be? Nothing. Cool. cool. That was the kind of shutdown game I was looking for, right? Like, just heal, heal, heal. How much total healing and damage denial did I do? I don't know. Enough. That satisfied me. That scratched the itch I was going for. All right. Reno, Paladin, Battle, Vicar. It's a good early curve. I don't think we want Blessed Goods on one just yet. A little hard to figure out how to use that at the moment. Tradable is fine, though. This is a mage, even though I always think it's a warlock. Job done. <laughs> the Keltazon always reads warlock to me, I don't know why. New board. I want to take that key and I want to put it in things. Mrs. Kilden's already here, first game of the day, high five. Wish us luck. I need a good, good, undefeated today, right? I think last expansion I actually did go undefeated, or maybe not last expansion, it was, we did stuff with, um. Yasharaj like combo shaman went like 10 and 0. Not expecting that today. Uh, Sermon's not really good for us, but holy Maki roll sounds good. How much total healing does this deck have? Because this could do 20, right? Reno can do 29, I guess, right? Amber Watcher's 8, Rag is 8, Prasswing, theoretically infinite. Cariel's not exactly healing, but certainly saves a lot of life. It's got a lot of healing. The problem, of course, is if you go from 30 to zero, healing doesn't matter. That's the only challenge here. May the light Not sure exactly what's happening quite there, but. Some kind of mage running spells. <laughs> Bigger spells, perhaps. Maybe got some mech stuff in there too, I don't know. What do I think the cards would be that are seeing nerfs? I have no idea. Far too early to guess. No waves can sink this ship. All right. Am I holding a holy spell? I am. Thought we need this against mage. Ooh, we might need that. It's exciting to have Reno back. I so love it. <laughs> Some people hate Reno. I love Reno. I don't care. I'm not ashamed. Hand is a little clunky. We may have to go flashlight here to find a play. Certainly not ready for Queen Achara yet. I don't quite want to just rip a bunch of Holy Maki rolls for it either. Runedorp trade, sure. 
How big was the armor gain, by the way? I really didn't pay attention. They're at four. I think I attacked for three, so that's probably like a Mask of Cthulhu or something. Uh, yeah, it's not really a Samurai play, is it? It'd be nice to kill that thing. Ugh, do I rip the Maki rolls here just to get me an Ashara next turn, right? I feel like I need to kind of dump them just to make better plays here. Because I'm lacking plays otherwise altogether. I don't know if, I don't know if this last one does anything, but why not? Just in case. Oh yeah, mask rotated. It can't be mask. It's gotta be mask polymorph then maybe. God, I, I hate this every time. Resetting your brain for what's in standard. It takes me like a month to remember what's actually available. So, Mass Polymorph is probably the seven mana spell, right? Is that it? Was there anything new? Maybe a Flame Strike, I guess. Flame Strike stuck, right? Reno is still your favorite card. Wow. Zarda Whoop thanks for the subs. Talantula and the guy abides as well, dropping subs. Thank you, everybody. Very kind of you. It's not a bad righteous defense, honestly. But we also have Drake Fire Ambulant later that might be more impactful, so. Let's let's go ahead and I think we'll just grab the horn, right? Uh Arena Tides doesn't look that good to me. Tide Stone's not great for our deck, I don't think. I think it's just horn. Could have traded first here, I guess, but I really like me some Queen Ashara. All right, hands lacking a little bit of proactivity at the moment, which you expect in a control deck, but we got to make sure that balance isn't too far off. We still need to be able to play things. I want this deck to have some threat development, right? Which I think we do. We just haven't hit it. Things like School Teacher, Phelan, Immortalized in Stone, Leviathan, Mancrick, even Bronze Explorer, uh, Alliance Bannerman. Those are all cards you can kind of just play out and be happy, right? Here's an example. Perfect. Excellent. Not a risk at all. I'm trying to think about what's in the pool right now. Definitely not rigged fair game. Or Netherwind Portal. Uh, Cariel's pretty good. Yeah. Let's take that Cariel. It's another good example of a proactive threat based card of sorts. Mm <laughs> hmm. Maybe it's EU that can't buy packs. There seem to be some theories developing in chat. Hello, Mrs. Gilman. High five again. I need your energy. Yes! Okay. This is a good hand now. I got this and this to create. Oh! Flame Strike. That was not the one off Deepwater, though. Something else. Gotta test a counter spell here, maybe, huh? I think it's more likely to be barrier, but. Maybe I just dump a brass wing, though. I don't have to go horn just yet. Brassling's fine. It's a threat. Stealing damage. Makes them answer it. Let's see if this is that mass poly maybe hits this. Can I outvalue and outlast this deck is the question, right? I have uh, Phelan to give me like a deeper deck and of course more threats. I have some discover to generate value, plenty of survivability and inevitability off of Cariel with both the hero power and the weapon just kind of dealing two per turn, right? Six. Okay, what's a six mana spell? Blizzard? Feels like a blizzard to me. Still kind of needs a rip. Uh, counter spell, unless this is barrier, I guess. It's barrier, okay. Good to know. Uh, I don't probably want to go too wide into the board here if we're looking at a blizzard, right? Let's make them kind of deal with the brass wing. I want to develop enough to make them do something, but not so much that they feel like they're getting a really good value. But I can spin this mana preemptively. That's fine. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like it. That's just threats, right? That's nice. A little bit of damage, too. Doesn't hurt. It's, you know, it's interesting. We've kind of taken the role of the aggressor, even though we're supposed to be a bit of a control deck, right? Which is fine. In until we need to, we can't control anything. We just play play our game plan until it's wrong to do so. Hmm. We think this could be a counter spell again? Counterspell rotate or is it still in? Maybe counterspell's gone? 
I can't, I just don't, I can't keep track. I can't be bothered to keep track of this. Don't ask so much of me. It's still in, okay. Good to know. Ah, explosive roots. Okay, well that's great. I can just spin this Maki mana now. Perfect. That was kind of free. Maybe we give this guy some survivability with a divine shield here. I don't really want to spend this mana later. I think I have plenty of life gain, obviously, with Reno, so let's just increase his survivability. Improve his threat nature, right? And is a little light again. I'm, I'm kind of only drawing the one card per turn right now, which uh, maybe we need a little more card draw. I have some tradable. I have Bannerman still. I mean, I don't know. Seven cards isn't exactly no cards, but it, it feels a little light to me. Being able to heal minions felt good, though. I gotta say. Oh, Blizzard again. Okay, sure. This is probably a decent Righteous Defense. Now with both Blizzards gone, if I go tall enough as well, like, I think I'm safe to a lot. I, I don't even know if they're running a Flame Strike. Well, I don't know. I think that might be a Mass Polymorph, right? This could be Flame Strike or Polymorph. Hmm. It's taking two from that guy. I think I'm actually just going to Righteous Defense and play a Bannerman. I guess I'll play the Bannerman first. I don't really want him getting buffed. Uh, really? It's not too heavy. Again, I don't want to overinvest. Reporting for duty. Let's bait out more removal, right? This looks like Flame Strike Ping to me. Or Bass Polymorph, maybe. I don't know if they're gonna commit that for just a Brasswing, but man, Brasswing's done like six damage, right? Or something? Well, he got to attack too, I guess, so he's not even aware of that, but like even off his AoE, he's lived for a few turns now. It's really cool. I like that. Guys, I don't know anything about packs. I, I don't know. It sounds like there's a lot of problems and the headaches and craziness going on, so. I don't think you're alone, but chat and Reddit can help you more than I can. I'm, and like Twitter too, probably. Blizzard, like Twitter accounts and stuff. Mrs. Kilvin is vacuuming, by the way, if you guys hear a crazy sound. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it may come and go. Dude, Brasswing is gonna kill it. They just it's taking them 10 years to kill Brasswing. I really wish. Oh my god. I was just getting ready to say, I really wish I had a way to heal the Brasswing, and this is a way to heal the Brasswing. That's hilarious. This could be an explosive runes again, I guess, which would damage the rag, which means it might heal the rag instead. I could potentially play like Gaia. No, that's the same problem. I don't have a way to proc any explosive runes other than rag. That's also allowing me to play rag, of course. So let's just play rag. Either way, getting healed is fine. But hopefully it heals the brass wing again just for problems and hilarity. Not a runes, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this, this brass wing has been... It's been alive for eight years, dude. <laughs> they just keep chipping it down, and he keeps coming back. I like this, though. The big H-Drop Healy boys. There's the best Polymorph, finally. Okay. There it is. Now we can rip more threats, I think. So double Blizzard gone. One of them was uh, off Parrot, though, so they should have another natural Blizzard, I would suspect. We could probably also expect another Polymorph. We got Varden things to think about. There's still quite a bit here that's potentially going to cause us problems. Again, I'll try not to overinvest too much in any given board state. Uh, Gaia, I probably want to give myself some way to react to first, right? I think I just play these suiting hero power. No, we're kind of holding the Gaia forever. I mean, yeah, Ysera's more value in this matchup. I think that's good. Oh, that was probably wrong. Probably should have played this first. I don't know, it's, it's like how important is the life still really? Not that important, but a little maybe. With a Reno, it feels less important, so maybe the 4-5 is actually just better. So we don't have a lot of dredge action. We're just kind of hoping to get those later, obviously. I could... No, I don't even have any shuffle either, man. I need to add one dredge card. Feels bad that those are literally never at the top until I get Leviathan. Maybe one dredge card is good. I mean, I can certainly find dredge cards. It's not impossible, right? But it might feel nice to have one. Oh, I guess Mancrit could also shuffle them up, right? Mancrit could also shuffle them up. It could put in duplicates. Oh, that's a good point. We talked about that earlier. We don't know. It might put three distinct ones or not. I don't know. We can check, actually. This will be a good learning experience. 
Will we ever find a scenario where, um, oh wow, that's a good turn. Is there amount of fire sales gross? Will we ever find an experience where Reno goes green? He didn't go green yet, did he? No, he's still yellow. Good to keep an eye on though, that's a great thought. He just goes some row here. He's kind of independently good, so I think we just stick to the equality, right? Uh, we could go equality Gaia here. Just trade in one of the mechs. So I'm also developing a threat simultaneously because the quality consecration, I guess, does leave me immortalized in stone. But this is kind of a good way to use the ping on Gaia, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Although, I don't know, I have so much spare mana if I do that. What am I doing anyway? It's eight mana to spare. <laughs> I can go bless goods into something. Um, yeah. It's fine, whatever. Let's look here. Uh, yeah. This is what I was worried about, right? Like, just really low value sort of, uh, sort of roll. It's all good, though. Six damage. Get a good Divine Shield board at some point. That might bait the other, uh, Mass Polymorph. We also have Varden to worry about, too, right? Varden's gonna replay a Mass Polymorph. Maybe a fire sale and an oh actually no there's an arcane brilliance so it Varden may they may replay arcane brilliance instead of mass poly which would be nice I think I'm a little bit worried about their hero power but not really with Reno and Cariel right I can handle okay that's actually pretty weak yeah this is I guess a little annoying though did nightmare that but I don't really want to give them that because I'm not nightmare but Tom uh... well I could actually nightmare that that will die to nightmare. Maybe I do just nightmare that. I go to six, it hits for seven. This also hits hits it once. That's pretty good, right? Hmm. I mean, this is a fine time to play as Sarah. I can like leave up the small stuff. I don't really care. This will, I guess, this will die organically. Yeah, I like this. Save the dream. Do I hit here or just go face? Mm, I think I can leave that up, right? Like, do I really care? Mm, wish this would kill it. Maybe I kill it. I don't know. We're still stretching this game out longer, right? So maybe we kill it. We're not looking to end yet or anything, so let's kill it. So Zola is cool. Zola Reno is a possibility now. Kalik. Cool. I thought this deck kind of had Reno vibes at first till we saw the duplicate secrets, but there's been a lot of one ofs. Kind of had like Reno mage vibes. Hey, Beirut. Thanks for the kind words, man. Oh, gosh. I probably missed some subs and stuff, too. Spikes uh, with the 16 months and Visper also with the sub. Thank you, guys. Another Blizzard, sure. I don't think I take another Ysera, do I? Or another. Another Gaia? Ooh, that's a good heal on Gaia. Maybe we just go double dragon here. It's not a card I feel like dreaming. It is a card that would be nice to kill, though, I'll say. But not that easy to kill. And I, dreaming, you know, just gives it right back. It gets another discover. I think I think mm. discounted spell here is not the end of the world. Like let's, let's take our time. Hopefully this is a little awkward. Or maybe just baits another... Uh, well, I don't even know if baits is the right word, but but encourages another mass polymorph, right? <laughs> I guess this is a pretty good mass polymorph. I don't know if bait is the is the word you're looking for. Forces, let's say. Because this is this is one of the bigger boards I've built. They don't have the other mass polymorph. Could be in trouble, but we'll see. At the very least, I remove a threat of theirs with mass polymorph. So, all right. So we're getting close to those colossals, one way or another, honestly. Ice blood, kind of late in the game for an ice blood, I feel like, but who knows what's left? That might that might get the mass poly, actually. All standard today? Uh, probably, yeah. I, I don't know, if I get a really good run of decks, there's a chance we do duels at the end, but I'm probably focusing on standard. Freeze on Gaia, sure. Belinda! Is there gonna be anything left for this ice blood tower? A four mana that's Arcane Brilliance and six mana is, I guess, that other natural blizzard, huh? So we're probably gonna get our board frozen out here. Sarah awakens into Consecration. Like, I lose a lot of my stuff, but... It's 
not bad. Oh, that's pretty dang good, though. Holy crap. Kind of need this to hit an equality almost. This is seven damage. Yeah, I can kill everything, right? Pretty much everything that I care about anyway. Yeah, let's do it. We need to kill this stuff. What do I Zola of anything? Probably nothing. Let so Muro actually also, I guess, is another way to deal more damage. That's nine to the board. And 11 to one thing. I don't know, I'm just too lazy to figure this out, so I'm gonna just start hitting things and then figure out the math later, right? <laughs> so, like, if I Sumero here, for instance, that'll die to Consecration, that'll die. Yeah, I think we can commit the Sumero. This is gonna be the last big board, right? My this lets me net a little damage face as well, which is nice. God, did I have lethal, guys? I had another eight. No, I guess I didn't have any other damage outs. It's close, though, honestly. I could have put him to five. Should have looked a little closer. I <laughs> didn't really consider it all that much. It was, it was kind of close. If anybody was mechs, I would have had it, you know? Surely that's out of secrets, right? Yeah. Okay. Gaia finally dead. I need, like, my carry L soon. Oh, yeah, here we go. Hit, hit me carry L, baby. Come on. Protector. What a... What a... Bum draw at this point, eh? Who here can spell Sinjari? Can, oh, this might actually hit me... Um, a Leviathan or a Gaia? Is it worth it, though, right? <laughs> like, uh... I mean, these kind of suck, right? I don't know, man. I think it's worth it. I could float too bad. Let me. I could float too bad. Like, I don't care. If I don't get anything, that's fine, basically, is what I'm saying. Not under exactly a ton of pressure. Ah, Gaia! I called it! Nice! Uh, I don't really want to fill up the board here, right? It's a little bit of a problem. Let's just dump a protector. Maybe interrupt those a little bit, save some health, protect some trades, I don't know. We think they have an Arcane Brilliance in hand. Pretty much out of gas. I got another Gaia, he's gonna clean this board up. Can they deal with this board? Fire sale, oh yeah, that's not bad. It's leaving me nine right now though. Oh uh, yeah, they pinged that, so. Nine plus two? Still not a lethal though, is it, man? I only have not, this has two to the board. Somehow still not lethal. Oh, but they've just given up, okay. Well, yeah, that didn't exactly play off of the cards I really wanted to play. Either way, Simmering Shunfish into School Teacher is probably a good opener. It's like, I don't think I, oh, that's not a, a holy spell anyway, so no, of course we don't keep that. We look for a holy spell. Okay, it's a pretty good three, four, five. These are all minions that are like sort of, I mean, this is a pretty good tempo minion. These are not really great tempo minions, but they're okay. They kind of do other stuff, but they aren't bad to play on curve. What does Dredge do? Discovers bottom three cards and puts one on top. Exactly, you got it. I honestly thought this was a shaman skin when I first saw it. I thought that was Thrall. <laughs> <laughs> I sight like yeah of course not he's he's all purpley and stuff but I really thought that was thrall for a minute. Thank God for hero powers, huh? Thank goodness. Okay. Are they AFK? Thrall Dan, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh, watch post, fun. Okay, like that. Go ahead and trade this in. Probably gonna always skill this and it plays around any like mortal coils and stuff. Makes life a little easier. Dude, I love Reno decks. I really missed Reno. He honestly hasn't been particularly relevant in our first three games. Like he was last game, but only because our opponent apparently missed lethal, right? <laughs> like he wouldn't have actually been. But I don't care. He's just fun. Anybody? Oh, Right, just defense. I mean, I don't know how big they're gonna be, right? Probably just take Vitality Surge here. I don't think they're gonna have huge minions based on what we've seen so far. 
just doesn't feel like a huge minion kind of deck right now. It feels more like I'm trying to do sneaky, disruptive stuff. I'm not going to dump an 8-8 on you. I'm going to play a bunch of small watch posts and stuff. So instead, let's just take away the heal a minion or whatever. I love how they said literally cast explosive trap. Like, that's so funny to me. <laughs> it's really amusing. Uh, I don't even know why. Just really funny. Looks like I'm here just in time. Just in time. Yeah, we'll go ahead and hit here. Obviously, they have the hit anyway, so this damage incrementing might matter a little bit. <clears throat> it still doesn't even let them kill it off, though, based on current board state, which is fun. Still denies them killing it off, but sets up better math for me. Could maybe Consecration next turn or something. I like this, just I'm going to play a watch post and hide it behind all the taunts. <laughs> I don't really care, though, because my deck is not about being incredibly mana efficient, right? We're more about, like, total power output. We don't really care. Make my things slightly more expensive. I'll be okay. As long as you're not smirking me, right? I don't need to be efficient. Haven't heard of me. You will. All right, Tamsin. Tamsin Dream Soul already. Wow. What are they setting up here? Oh, probably other Tamsin, right? Probably just setting up other Tamsin. Six mana, everything's at three or less, right? Could, like, Divine Shield this to punish that, right? It's not my favorite play, but it's not its not terrible. I can also just heal it, I guess, too. Because <clears throat> the taunt will be in the way. If they go Tamsin, they can't, like, trade through first. <laughs> just make it. Could actually do both. I could... Divine Shield here. And heal here. That's always a healing your hero. Actually, I'm an idiot. That doesn't heal minions. Okay. Great. I need card text. That is not the play I wanted to make. It's fine to spend the mana, but I wanted to heal this. That is not flash of light, bro. Not a targeted spell. Let's recall that uh, Vitality Surge restores health to your hero always. Always. So scratch that plan. Yeah, Maki Roll could have done the same thing, but no Divine Shield, I guess. And no damage output. Oh! Not what I expected. We still kind of solved that problem, but putting in the 1-1s sucked. Minus Consecration, of course. It's going to be awesome. I can't even get through to the 7-2 either, so I now have 9 damage and a clear board. I guess we'll hit Tamsin if they don't hit. Oh, or just Cariel on curve. Oh no, she's not on curve. She's eight mana. No, what have you done? Actually, this is not a. Yeah, it's actually a bad summer. Never mind. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Do we Maki roll twice just to improve survivability here? It also activates Shara for next turn. I mean, I'm probably always Carrieling next turn. I don't, I don't think so. I feel like it's a little greedy. Let's just play another minute. Cariel's not on curve. How perfect would she have been? Oh, the opponent would have been so salty, I bet. This thing is hit for 14 now. Ah! It was the Tamsin, but I think the one ones made the uh, infestation look more appealing. It did seem like it kind of came off the top, but I wasn't sure. Oh, good early fell rift. Wow. Can kill one of those with Cariel. Probably even keep my 1 1 alive, don't I? Worth more than 2 health. A little risky against Immortal Coil, I suppose. Do we think this deck maybe has like um, Abyssal Curses in it? We just haven't seen one yet. This feels like it could be the sort of thing that's a curse deck. It's just like we haven't seen a curse yet, right? Wouldn't surprise me. Uh, Gary Poke, do thanks to the Prime sub, by the way. Tungsten Panda, also with the Prime sub earlier, and Crash's Pad with the Prime sub. Very cool, guys. You know, if it is a curse deck, I actually value my health more than this minion, frankly. And I value face damage more as well. I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. Hopefully no weapon removal. To set up curse damage for Cariel exactly. But we have a lot of life gain, a lot of healing. So as long as it doesn't like one shot me, hopefully we can pull it back, right? Fresh out of the 
Okay, this definitely feels like a curse deck. <laughs> I mean, there's no question. I need this to hit Samuro soon. Actually, this is a good brass wing, I guess. <gasps> oh, I love Jack like so much. My respect for this person just went up a thousand. A thousand percent. Uh, yeah, actually, let's try to hit Samuro. This would be pretty baller, Samuro, wouldn't it? Hit him, hit him, hit him. Oh, I'm a god. I didn't even have to play anything first. I'm just a god. <laughs> I'm just an actual Hearthstone genius. I should have played this first. I don't know why I didn't. I'm going to play it anyway, so. Yeah, I can sneak in a Blessed Goods here to get a Shara more ready to go. I, I will admit that I don't really know what I'm looking for here from a card standpoint, but it's okay. Okay. I mean, is it a premature tomorrow? Maybe, but I don't think they're going to have a lot of onboard threats, honestly. I think they're a threat low deck, and I'm just playing a big fat threat myself, so. I think that's an exchange I'm happy to make. How is it going? Uh, it's going good. Having fun playing Reno Paladin, and it feels good so far. We're actually undefeated. Although, a guy did miss lethal, we're pretty sure, so maybe not technically undefeated, but, well, we're technically undefeated, but not, not, uh, morally undefeated. You know, in, in essence, the deck has had a weakness exploited, but our skills <laughs> managed to carry through. Our skills persisted. That's what it was. It was purely skill and only skill. Yeah, let's just see where this goes. I'm probably playing literally whatever that hits. Um, Yeah, I'll play the Ashara here. Let's dump that spell to get the Ashara down. She's big. Psychological warfare. That's kind of what it was, honestly. Yeah, it did feel like that, didn't it? Yeah, Colossal's probably the best bet here. I need a little more threats. I don't want this game to stretch too long if they actually are a curse stack, right? Like the card draw too, because I'm a little light, but hopefully a Colossal can fix that problem. Maybe I'll get Leviathan. I mean, surely the curses aren't... It, like, they haven't played any weapon removal yet. I'm going to assume for now they don't have any. Obviously, that can change, but... If they don't have weapon removal, surely Cariel just denies whatever they're trying to do, right? Have you picked any bit Colossal? Uh, yeah, last game, actually, we picked Tidestone. And certainly in other... other we and we very, very much evaded Zalateth last game as well. But, uh, yeah, there's been plenty of other decks and matchups, too, where I pivoted into another one that was way better. If, if the essence of your question was, is Colossal always the best pick? I don't think so. I've never picked the one that copies your spell. That's the one that always falls out of favor for me, at least. Oh, that's actually not bad. I'll take that. Uh, these are both fine targets, so let's just... Sure. This could give me game ending with Smite, too, right? Uh, oh, Gangplank Diver is cool. Yeah, that could set up a Smite. That's a lot of big dude. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, this is four. This is also kind of four. But it can snipe. This is a slightly bigger minion. I guess we take this because it's also four, but can go into split damage, which can be useful to, like, clear a taunt or something. The answer is running out of time. Okay. So I, uh, can't really set up the Gangplank Diver. the only problem, right? Like, I had to pick him first, and then I can't really develop him. Wealth can have six. Um, well, I guess that's true. Like, if you attack with Smite first and then play Wealth Redistributor, that's a good thought. Yeah. I got that one last, right? Yeah, no, you're probably right, actually. The only problem is I can't really do that because the, the stupid, uh, Gangplank. I mean, I can, but it's going to take me another turn even after this dies, right? Because I got to set up the Gangplank for a turn and then go the turn after. It's a bit of a bit of a pain here. Not a major pain, but a little pain. Like, you want this to go uh, this turn and then you smite next turn, which is fine. It's still a lot of damage. We're still going to be fine, I think. Mm. Um, I think I just brass wing here, don't I? Like, I don't really care about the three threes a lot. Maybe I kill one with my weapon. This just clears that. 
How much damage is this going to be? 6 and 4 is 10, and 6 is 16, 18. So I kind of need to go face. Can't guarantee that a hero power can... Oh, no, but it'll be 16 because... Or it'll be... They'll be at... Uh, they'll be at uh, 17 because of Brasswing, actually. So yeah, going face does matter. Going face changes my outs a little bit. Like, yeah, I leave this a little more exposed, but that's not that important. So this sets up the lethal and still, you know, presents a nice little board too. We're not locked into anything here. Could be Reno. Oh, you're right. We, oh, in fact, I think you might be right. Cause they're running cards like Jack Lick and Infestation you wouldn't typically expect. I bet they are a Reno deck. I think you're absolutely right. It's Rush no Charge? Correct, but Mr. Smite gives it charge. So. Um, okay. Quality. Fog sail enough? It's not, right? I gotta kill this, though, really. Well, I don't need them spit back out if I go for lethal, right? Um. Well. Plus. Am I seeing this right? Do I currently only have 16? Because I have to use either the fog sail or my face to clear the 4 7 taunt, which leaves me with 6, 12, 14, the answer is here. 16. Hero power and righteous defense have a pretty high chance to change that, though. So I don't really need a quality if I use righteous defense. So I have a pretty good. I need to hit in either of the pirates and we're fine. Okay, that doesn't. Nice. Beautiful. Literally just needed one damage. <laughs> Either of those hitting was lethal. Cool. Nelly out of nowhere is saving the game. It's insane how often you hit Smite off Nelly, honestly.